This is one of my favorite Airbnbs I've stayed at this year. Check out this 30 foot designer pool. It's heated, there's a jacuzzi attached to it as well. This Airbnb is beautiful on the inside. We're in Southern California, soaking up the sun. It can't get any better than this. Let's go take a tour of this Airbnb. We are here in Southern California, close to Joshua Tree National Park, soaking up the sun. It's February and it is 70 some degrees out here. Perfect temperature and we're here at the Stay Wild Desert. Airbnb, this is a gem of an Airbnb. Whenever I came here, I was just blown away around every corner from the attention to the detail to the amenities that are here. I mean, I'm standing right in front of this 30 foot designer pool. Just check out the checkered pattern. It is just jaw dropping out here and we're here on five acres of property and it is pretty uncommon to get this much private property here in joshua tree it is all fenced in and there's joshua trees all over this property you can walk around it and there's actually grass here i feel like that is highly uncommon in this desert area so being from ohio it's nice to see that there's grass on the property so if you're bringing kids they can run around and have fun it's not prickly compared to other desert locations so the property is beautiful the sun rising right here with the pool area was just beautiful as well so when we pull up onto the property it is gated which is nice uh, you open up the gate you'll come in plenty of parking space and you have the house here you can pull your car all the way up to the front door the attention to detail starts right at the front door this paved area you can park your car here I didn't I left it all open and it's just beautiful the landscaping all around the rock retaining wall right here and just looking around at the property it is all manicured very well it doesn't feel like the desert at all it feels like a tropical oasis already and then we have your front door right here now this front door is something to point out this door is the heaviest door i've seen in an airbnb it's fully metal and you just open it with your keypad swing it open very easy to open up it probably costs the amount of a small car because i know front doors are, can be very expensive and this one just feels extremely luxurious and that is a precedent for whenever you walk inside your home so let's walk inside and check it out Walking inside, this is a two bedroom, two bathroom house and it has been remodeled very beautifully. This first area is pretty open with your kitchen and your dining room area, but this kitchen is nothing short of impressive. Right here in the middle of your kitchen is your massive island. A couple seats here on this side. The bottom is open and it has your uh, cooking utensils down here, a couple drawers for your utensils as well. And it starts with the small details here. The handles for all of the doors in this kitchen are really unique and high quality. And this island just has a lot of surface area to prep food to sit out with your guests or your friends or family enjoy your time and it matches the countertop of the kitchen as well and there's plenty of cabinet space all around here the floating shelves are really nice with all of your dishes these are all high quality high-end dishes it looks great and then there's even backsplash tiling that goes around the kitchen as well you'll notice that the theme of this place is checkered it matches the pool and they kept that all throughout the inside I'll be showing you around how it matches when we get to the spots but cafe appliances are really nice as well they're my favorite and the fridge over here on the left side next to this window is one of the higher end cafe fridges you can get it has the water dispenser on this side and you can even fill it up by ounces automatically so you don't have to stand there and fill it up cold or hot water i mean this is really fancy to me i love it the fridge is huge and even the electric range the microwave and then on this side underneath the window that lets you look into the living room space is your sink the copper sink is really cool matches with the aesthetic of this kitchen and that is everything in this kitchen space lots to discover here and then we can go on the other side and check out your dining room it's tucked in this corner with the windows around you nice wooden dining table can seat six i like the bench that is built into the wall with the cushions very comfortable and aesthetic looking in here and next to this is a sliding door that leads out to an outdoor space if you want to come out here and do some cooking outside there's a grill out here and another dining table that is covered this dining table can seat a lot of people as well nice chandeliers above this and then the grill over here that's built into this really cool countertop space there's space on this left side you have an outdoor sink on this right side this grill's fancy it does a lot now i'm not a grill guy but it looks like you can smoke stuff you can cook stuff with charcoal i'm not too sure but it is 
pretty fancy looking and then there's your utensils underneath all of this and that is this little cubby and it's really easy access to the pool but we'll get to that later in this video let's walk back inside and i'll walk through this massive opening into your living room space now the attention to detail they even have tiling all around that border this opening really cool if you ask me but now we'll enter into the living room space there's a couple of seating options over here a nice leather couch it is comfortable to sit on i tested it and even lay on you could take a nap here if you really want to and then on the other side is two really large black chairs now sometimes single chairs can be really uncomfortable these were one of the more comfortable single chair options i've been to in an airbnb so they're very nice and of course a nice large coffee table right here in the middle play some board games at if you're looking for them they're in the storage space behind the couch and there's also some books and lighting back here and then on the other wall you have your frame tv 65 inch sit here watch some movies and just relax so pretty large living room space there is a sliding door right here that leads out to the pool area we'll get there later let's walk back through this hallway and check out your rooms and bathrooms first room is your main bedroom and here is a king size bed very nice to see a king size bed beautiful linens on the bed nice stands on both sides and then a closet space over here on the left side they even leave some robes here for you some blankets and then there's a mirror over here another chair and then a sliding wood door if we open this up there's an attached ensuite bathroom and this bathroom is huge walking in here we have tile all around the shower on this left side and then your vanity over on this right side the towels are the checkered and they match the aesthetic of the pool there are two sinks here the countertop is tiled as well so this is a cool design if you want to change up your countertop option i don't see that many vanities being tiled on the top surface like this so very cool your toilet right here we'll do a toilet paper review it's not thin it's pretty soft it definitely passes the toilet paper review. High quality toilet paper here at Stay Wild Desert. Can't complain. And then your shower back behind this. Very large and it has a huge waterfall shower head above you. You can turn the water on. And if you want, you can open up these glass doors and let in that nice sunshine and warm weather while you shower. Or there's a bathtub out here. So out here is a little private space for the main uh, bedroom. And there is a bathtub out here and a couple seating options that are out right outside the sliding door off of the bedroom so very nice it's all enclosed we'll walk back inside that is everything with this main bedroom and bathroom we walk out of this and into the hallway space down at the end of the hallway there is a washer and dryer and they do leave the stuff to use the washer and dryer can't forget that and the first one on the right is your other bathroom very typical layout for a bathroom the vanity here on this right side then your toilet then your shower the vanity is beautiful with the nice rock bowl right here in the middle your toilet and then your shower now one thing about this one and the other shower it's not tiled they did this waterproof limestone paint is kind of what it looks like i'm not too sure though but it matches the walls everywhere else in this airbnb so let's walk out of this now and into the last room and this is your second bedroom in here it is much smaller of a bedroom but the comfort is still there. Windows, there's more windows in this bedroom than there were the last one. And then there's another closet space to accompany this bedroom as well to store your luggage. They leave robes here for you as well. And you won't be spending much time in here except sleeping, so can't complain about that. I'm sure you won't be spending a lot of your time inside because we are in the beautiful sunshine of Southern California and there's a sweet pool. So we'll walk outside through the living room and this is where the fun just continues. This backyard area is so cool. Walk down this path. There is a fire pit area all the way down here. Propane, it's so easy to turn on. And there's this nice designer half circle concrete seating area that surrounds this fire pit for those nice cozy nights to stargaze. And then right behind you is your pool area. Walk down this other path and we have this 30 foot designer pool with the red and white checkered that even continues down into the bottom of the pool. This pool can be heated for an extra fee every day or there is just the jacuzzi that's built into it on this right side and you can turn this on. No extra charge of course. You have the hot tub and the pool option underneath this pergola there's really nice chairs to just sunbathe that 
This pergola has this cloth on top to block the sun if you need to. This pergola was built by Toja Grid. I've seen these online, so it's really nice to see it in person for the first time. And it's a really easy system to build a pergola. This isn't sponsored by them. I just wanted to point that out in case you're interested. It is a very cool and nice design. So the pool area is very fun. There is a small pool house right here as well. Open it up and inside just has a bunch of pool stuff, pool utensils to use while you're hanging out in here, soaking up the sun, getting your Instagram photos, enjoying the cool, nice blue water on a nice 90 degree day. Right now it's in the 70s and it's perfect here. Uh, this pool is where I will be spending all the rest of my time while I'm staying here trying to get a tan. I'm a nice Ohio boy that is very pale right at this time of year. So uh, this will be the start of my tan while I'm here. If you want to come check this place out, the booking link is down in the description below. I don't typically suggest that you book a specific Airbnb, but this one, uh, if you've just been waiting to pull the trigger, check out the dates here. Uh, it's definitely worth it. Very cool. The hosts were very kind and it's actually hosted by uh, the people that own it, not like a hosting company, which is seems kind of uncommon in the Joshua Tree area as well. There's a lot of hosting companies here because there's a lot of Airbnbs. So it's nice having the owners be in direct contact with you and they definitely care about your, the space here. And guys, I'll see you next week in another one.